All right, so we're going to go ahead and import um, and scale an image. So I'm going to use my site plan for that, and I'm going to type in TW to get rid of the window tile, and that'll full screen my window. <clears throat> and I'm going to come down here, and in my view control bar, I'm going to go to wireframe. <clears throat> so that shows through everything. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import the image that we're going to use to scale and sort of use as a background to draw the walls. So I'm going to go to the insert tab up here, image, and it's going to open up my dialog box and I'm going to go to the Sea House JPEG and open that guy. And it will come in, it's going to take it a minute because it's kind of a big file, but when it comes in, it'll be stuck to my cursor. So you just kind of want to click somewhere and it'll place that file. Again, it'll think for a minute just to process it. And then once it's processed, use your middle scroll wheel to back out. And if you come down here, there's a scale and it's in meters. So four meters equals 13.124 feet, which we're working in. So what I want to do is I'm going to click the modify up here and then select the image. So you see how when I hover over the image, it wants to pick. So I'm going to left click. And once it picks the image, I'll get a series of options up here in the modify raster image contextual bar. So if I go to the scale, I can pick on that one and you'll see my cursor will turn to like this little crosshair. And what it wants me to do is pick my first point as origin and then it wants me to pick a second point as sort of the final edge of the definition of the distance. So this is my first distance and I'm just kind of zooming in to get a more accurate pick. So I picked the two points that represent the four meters. Now I can type in the distance that I want that four meter that distance to be. So I want it to be 13.1234. And then if I hit enter and I come back and distance this, right, it'll be 13.1234. So I've scaled this drawing set to the correct size according to this. You never know. Now I just want to move this guy up to here and sort of get him in place. <clears throat> it should fit pretty closely. So the move in Revit, you can drag move, which means if you're hovering over something, you can just drag move it. But if you want to move something more accurately, like if I want to move this point to that point, I need to select the object. So pick the raster image, go to the move command in the modify toolbar, and then I can pick a point and move that to another point. And it pretty much fits right in there, which is great. Um, the last thing I'm going to do is crop it. So down in the bottom, you have these crop options in your view control bar. And I can pick crop view and show crop region. And if I zoom out, I get this black crop region that I can pull down and kind of crop out everything else. When we come back, We'll continue copying images and put in the elevation.